Hi, Mr. Pulley here. I'm going to show you the way that I have my courses organized in Schoology and the way that I use pages in Schoology to make those courses a little bit more interesting for my students in terms of visual appeal. So I'm going to do three different videos. The first is going to be just an overview of my courses and how they're set up, uh, which will include the unit folders, uh, the pages that I use, uh, and the fact that those pages, to work the way I had them working, you have to do those in line. The second video is going to be on creating the pages themselves, editing those, uh, including inserting images, hyperlinking those images to other things, the idea of tool tips, uh, and then the idea that when I make a new page for a new unit, I'm not trying to recreate the wheel. I'm going to start with the base page from the prior unit and then add the new things to it. And finally, then I'm going to show you how, um, as our school is going to being Google uh, Chromebook school next year, uh, how I'm using Google Documents and embedding those in the pages to make uh, calendars for my students to follow. So this first video again is going to be on an overview of my courses and here we go. So this is the last thing I want to show you which is how to embed a Google Doc uh, within a page in Schoology and uh, you may recall at the beginning if you watched the first video that I had a calendar that was images cut and pasted uh, into uh, this page. What I'm going to do now is go in and first of all I want to get rid of that video I added so I'm just putting that in to show you how that was done. So this is the video here. I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, but what I'm going to put in here right here now is a Google Doc. So um, I'm going to go to my unit plans, which is here, this Google Doc. Um, I've copied and pasted this over from a um, Word document, which takes a, quite a bit of playing with the formatting, but I don't want to get into all that. But what I need to do at this point is go in and say publish to the web. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to publish it and say OK. And then what I want is the embed code. And so I'm going to copy this embed code here, Control C. I'm going to come back to my page here. Uh, and then I have to go back to my insert content, image slash media. Uh, this is going to be uh, media again. So I'm going to copy this, paste this embed code here. So again, it's uh, insert media from the web media and I'm pasting in the embed code and say insert and it unfortunately sticks it in in this very very small size and I know that that's not going to be anything anywhere close to being something that people can actually see so I'm going to go in here and say make this 1320 the proportions are constrained so as I change the one it will change the other um, this is as close as I get to actually doing HTML because um, one tiny mistake can mess up a whole thing. So this is the best that I can do. I now say insert. And again, when I see it in here in the editing page, it's sort of all this yellow blob. If I can save changes, what we'll see is now I have all those hyperlinks, but I also now have that page in there and it's showing all the contents in there. Sometimes it does this and I don't know why where um, everything looks nice here. It's not looking very nice down here. I don't know why it's kind of crunched some things in. Um, and what I'll do is go back and play with my uh, Google Doc here a little bit and try to figure out why that's doing that. It's as you can see in here, it looks very nice. Um, so what I probably have to do is just go in and change uh, my URL so I can get a, a bit wider image on that. Um, but one thing to note is by embedding it this way, A, I can scroll through the entire thing, but also uh, with that is if I make changes to the Google Doc itself, it will update on that page as well. It's not instantaneous. So for example, if I went in here and said, hey, I'm going to take this free this day free out of here and and say hey, it's going to be now all saved in Drive. If I go back here, you're going to say, hey, it still says free down here. It's just one of those quirks. It'll take anywhere from 10 minutes to, I've seen it to or less, to about an hour, but it will update automatically for you. So that's a quick uh, trick to doing that. I'm going to go in here and try playing with that one more time and see if I can make that look a little bit better. And sometimes it's just a case of it looks better in an hour than it does in here even right now. So let me take this to, I'm even going to try 1500 and see if that does any better. 
And again, the first two sections here are nice, but then it's adding these big wide sections here. Um, if I go back to my uh, unit plans, let me cancel out of this one um, for another unit. It was doing it as well. You can see it in this unit 12 one. Uh, I go to the unit 13 and 14 one. And as you can see, it looks much nicer. And I don't know why I could even actually go in here and say, hey, let's edit it. I can even go in and edit, say, hey, what were the proportions I used there? And use the same ones. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I don't know why. Um, let's go back here and even try that. It's 1233. And I think it's a cork of sometimes whatever browser you're using as well. So let's say 1233, which was a strange size, but we'll save changes and come back and see it's still the same uh, kind of mess, just a little bit narrower. It's a, a cork. I don't know if it's with Schoology or if it's with uh, the embedded Google Docs, but it usually takes a little while and it gets a little bit better. So be aware again, if I make changes, they're not always going to show up automatically. This free is still there. Um, but it will change in, in a little bit of time. I like this because it allows me to put the entire information in one spot without having to copy and paste several pages, and it's much faster to do. So if you have any questions, again, you can email me. My email is pulley at unit6.org. Thanks for watching.